The 19th Party Congress of the Communist Party of China is a very significant uh, event. It marked the end of Xi Jinping's first five-year term and the beginning of his second term as General Secretary of the party. Uh, I think there were a great many issues covered, but uh, the overall theme is that uh, China has become a much more wealthy country a much more powerful country and that the Chinese Communist Party has set out its visions and plan for China to continue to grow and become an even wealthier, bigger economy and a more influential and powerful economy in the global context. So from an Australian point of view, I think we're, we're very well placed as a, a strong economic partner of China. Uh, to continue to uh, grow our own trade and economic investment relationships. I think one, one thing I'd point out is the emphasis on quality growth, not just the high GDP numbers, uh, but now there's a lot of emphasis on quality of life, environment, uh, broader issues that uh, go to people's quality of life. And so that gives us great openings for uh, things that we're really good at, uh, including health services, um, quality food, education, tourism, uh, the whole set of uh, healthy living uh, products that Australia is becoming famous for, as well as you know building on, of course, our resources and agriculture exports that remain an extremely important part of the relationship. But, as China focuses on uh, quality of life issues, I think Australia is you know, well placed to continue to be a strong partner. The 19th Party Congress also, uh, President Xi Jinping really emphasised that uh, China will continue to open its economy for further foreign investment and including in services industries that uh, require regulatory opening up. This includes financial uh, services as legal, uh, health care, etc. And uh, so I think that those uh, signals from the top about China's commitment to continue uh, the liberalisation of its trade and investment settings is a very important uh, outcome from Australia's point of view, one that we've clearly welcomed and uh, through, our, through our negotiations actually on the free trade agreement next phase on the services investment review, uh, there are areas that will be looking to China to uh, increase its commitments to Australia in terms of market opening for us. So that was a good outcome from the Congress. The other uh, outcome I would point to is the emphasis that the Communist Party placed on uh, financial stability in China. So this uh, covers a whole set of issues to do with corporate leverage, um, bad loans, uh, the whole uh, you know, structure of the financial system has been placed as a very high priority and China's already taking a lot of action on the regulatory side to, to ensure financial stability. So obviously for our biggest trading partner, uh, financial security and stability in, in, that, in that important country is, is also an important uh, objective for Australia. So that's, that's another area I would point to. Look, I think this, this is what Australia always works toward. Our whole sort of economic and foreign policy for the region is about uh, stability and prosperity. So we do that through APEC, through East Asia Summit, uh, through our free trade agreements with major countries as well as with ASEAN. Uh, so uh, by emphasising importance of open markets, emphasising importance of rule of law, uh, looking for strategic stability, uh, including through the important role played by the United States uh, in the region and 
including through our alliance. So all of these things that uh, Australian foreign policy has always done, I think we will continue to do. And as you say, there are many large, important countries in our region that we, uh, that we should continue to work with, not just China, but as you say, India, Indonesia, Japan, Korea, uh, ASEAN as a bloc and particular ASEAN countries, uh, open markets, rule of law, uh, peace and prosperity for the region. That they'll be our, our objectives across, across all of the groupings and uh, bilateral relationships that we, that we work in.